Canada Post has, cut plan has put plans to install the curbside mailboxes on hold. It follows backlash from across the country. Save door to door. Some residents in Edmonton, among other places, protested to save door-to-door -door delivery. In Newfoundland and Labrador, a homeowner with concerns about the mailboxes being put on her property tried to stand her ground. And the guy in the truck with, with a big block hanging over my head. And I stood there anyway and he said, ma'am, you have to move. And I said, I'm not moving. This is my land. Wow. Well, not all Canadians were so upset by the new delivery system, though. I just have to walk across the road, and uh, in I'm, a couple of minutes, I'm, I've got my mail. I think it's the best thing there ever was. The days of uh, delivering mail are over. Even though Canada Post pushed ahead through all that controversy, it now says that it is temporarily suspending future deployment of the program to convert door-to-door -door mail delivery to community mailboxes. We will work collaboratively with the Government of Canada to determine the best path forward given the ongoing challenges faced by the Canadian postal system. The Liberal Party campaigned on a promise to restore home delivery. We pledge to work with municipalities that have been affected, with uh, Canadians who expect better in terms of service from their governments uh, to move forward on solutions and to restore uh, home delivery uh, where it, uh, it, it, it is necessary, and where it fits and where uh, there's a clear desire to do this. For more on this, I'm joined by Benjamin Dacus, Senior Policy Analyst with the C.D. Howe Institute. He authored a study on how best to reform Canada Post. Does this mean uh, back to the status quo or more time for a transformation of Canada Post? Well, if the government wants to keep Canada Post afloat, uh, it needs to think outside the box of how to... Was that a pun? Absolutely It's not. a good pun. <laughs> we try our best at the Institute. It needs to rethink how it provides mail services in Canada. What are the sacred cows that you feel uh, need to be blown up? What, did the, what needs to be slayed here? Is it the monopoly? Is it the promise of universal service? What's at the core of it? What's at the core of it are the number of monopolies that are inherent in the Postal Service. Uh, first and foremost is the government mandated monopoly uh, for Canada the Post to be the only company that can provide letter mail uh, delivery and pickup in Canada. Uh, the other one is the monopoly of who provides that service within the Canada Post. So uh, there are a lot of ways of, of opening up these monopolies to private operators, and we need to really th rethink how we're doing it here in who Canada. Who would want to get into that business, though? I mean, it's not like garbage collection, which is still alive and real in every city across the country, even if it's recycling instead of garbage. Who would want to do door-to-door -door delivery, given how uh, significant the declines in volume have been? Oh, there are lots of options. Uh, first place to look is in a lot of places in Europe, and look at Sweden or Finland. Uh, these aren't exactly countries that are filled with wild-eyed privatizers, but they've led the way in opening up private competition for mail services. Now that's one option, and there are lots of other options within, within uh, maintaining that Canada Post uh, umbrella of, of services, but still contracting out the final delivery. One classic example that you can th think of is, say, newspapers. Uh, we look at the newspaper delivery system, it looks pretty similar to uh, you know, home by home delivery where you don't have that mailbox system. So that's just one example. Is anybody going to be reading a newspaper <laughs> in 10 years? But again, what, we're, what they can think about is offering that service that people want. Right. Yeah, you predict a billion dollar deficit by 2020 if without reform. Still, you argue incremental reform. How come? Well, there are two different approaches. One is the uh, the more uh, comprehensive privatization approach. Another is offering uh, incremental reform along the lines of what we've already seen with, say, uh, that the the outlets that you see at a shopper's drug mart, those those kinds of outlets have one third lower cost than uh, what you see with uh, Canada Post owned and operated services. And so, cutting a one third cost in say pickup and delivery would lead to quite dramatic reforms over, and cost savings over time. Moya Green is the former head of Canada Post. She now runs the Royal Mail in the UK. What has she and her team been working on that you believe could be reapplied here? Well, that's where you see the example of the full privatization, where you don't necessarily have to have a government monopoly uh, providing services. But then you get into deeper, deeper concerns, deeper questions here in Canada about the future of universal service obligation or a single, pr a single price for all 
all customers here here in Canada. And so, if you want to go in go in that direction, but still maintain this sort of third rail, uh, you know, not touch this third rail of uh, a lot of rural politics of of the postal service, mm. you need to really be thinking about uh, f uh, some sort of federal subsidy. And a federal subsidy would be the right way to do it because what what it would do would put a real total number on the cost that we as Canadians place on this universal right. service And there obligation. are many things that we subsidize because our uh, geography is so disparate. Our population is all across the second largest land. Why not outright privatization? Well, outright privatization is one way of doing it, and, and that would be that would work fine uh, when you really think about it. Now you have to get you have to think about the details of it. The details really matter when you think about well, what parts of the service really are natural monopolies where we do need to have that government uh, government control in outlining the overall system. Uh, things like postal codes, d designating postal codes. We wouldn't want to have a series of different postal code systems where people in Ontario don't necessarily have the same mail, uh, mail system, uh, mail, mail mechanisms as people in BC or Alberta. So there's still a role potentially for Canada Post in outlining those overarching rules. But you can absolutely have private delivery from pickup right down to the end delivery. Thank you very much. My pleasure, appreciate, thank you for having appreciate me. The